Hi there. Um, to go and type the release of the new version of Quant Sports, I decided to release some um, new videos um, detailing how we can use the features of NinjaTrader um, to analyze data and really get the most out of our trading strategies. One of the things I'm going to do in this part is show you the data format um, we need in order for NinjaTrader to read the data um, and also a couple of ideas and what we can do with using Quant Sports to bridge NinjaTrader and um, Betfair. So I'll just drag this across, I'm using two screens here, um, and I'll show you the format we need the horse in. So um, the name of the horse here has to correspond directly to an instrument in NinjaTrader and you're not allowed spaces in the instrument so um, in the instrument name that is so here for example the horse Anquetta um, we just have Anquetta and it's in the text document if it if the horse's name was for, for example um, Anquetta horse it would be Anquetta underscore horse um, and that's the format we would need it in so if I just open the text document here drag it across you can see some of the data that I have um, now I collect a lot of data myself for analysis um, and this is the format we needed in, so it goes the year followed by the month, so you can see that's 2010, May the date, which is the 13th, the time, which is 7.50 and then the second. Now I'm running on about between a, a 4 and 6 um, refresh rate per second so that's between roughly 200 and 250 milliseconds refresh. Um, we then separate with a semicolon um, we then have the price, 1.89 another semicolon and then the volumes matched and you can see here I have this up to the 20 minutes before the race starts um, and this is the format which an trader needs in order to read the data now one of the questions you're probably asking is you know what can I what does this show me well it really is useful um, one of the most common questions I'm asked is is there any way to have a free trial of the Quantsport software and whilst a free trial isn't available, in doing this you'll be able to see the power which NinjaTrader enables um, in terms of charting analysis and strategy analysis. Um, now the difference between charting and strategy is basically a chart will map the data in real time. Consports feeds in NinjaTrader the data, NinjaTrader maps it, and you can employ different indicators, volume or price based on those charts. Whereas a strategy um, will look at uh, giving strict buy and sell signals. Now, in this case here, we have the last match price. But in Trader 7, which we'll soon provide a compatible version for, you can actually import the bid and ask prices into Ninja Trader, which is really useful because it gives a more accurate representation of a strategy on backtesting. When using Quant Sports with Ninja Trader in live trading, that's done automatically because Quant Sports maps the bid and ask price and the market depth into Ninja Trader. The strategy will only execute where there is available volumes. So, for example, um, the back, which is the equivalent of the bid, um, if, if it triggers a, um, oh sorry, the, the lay, which is the equivalent to the bid, because obviously you want the price to increase, even though with a bank bet you're actually supporting the horse, um, it will only execute that if it sees money available at the lay volumes. And then it will lay and the price will move accordingly. Okay, um, in part two what I'll show you is um, how we can import the data, how we create the instruments and then in part three I'll show you how we can optimize the um, strategy testing, how we can backtest numerous instruments um, and work out a, tra a, straight, a profitable trading strategy. Thank you.